The Krytos Industries Titanium Glock Slide. Let's check it out. One of the initial draws of the Glock pistol was how light it was. Uh, back in the 1980s when it was first designed, because of that it was really easy to carry. There's been a lot of attempts to make a good titanium slide for the Glock. It's been a challenge. Uh, one of the reasons is there can be galling, there can be issues with it. That is one thing and the reason why we haven't seen it. Uh, Krytos Industries though, I believe has perfected the formula. This makes a super lightweight G19 or G17. I mean, they are just incredibly lightweight. It's unbelievable. And the great thing is, it's still very shootable. Again, guys, you take a super lightweight pistol like the Glock and take the heaviest part and make it into one of the lightest materials out there that's yet strong enough to handle it. And this is what you have. Uh, this is the Krytos Industries. This is the T19, uh, Titanium 19. They also make it for the T17, for the Model 17. Uh, and there are some other configurations. We'll talk about that in a minute. But one of the big pluses for this slide is the weight, obviously. Now, there have been a lot of companies that have tried to produce a Titanium slide for the Glock specifically, and it just failed. That has to do with the galling. Galling is caused by friction. And friction on a metal part, it just begins to bind. Uh, that happens with stainless steel a lot of times, uh, and it can be a problem. Uh, but with titanium, it's definitely an issue. And one of the ways that Krytos Industries changed that is called the Armor Tie Finish. It's extremely durable. They have shot hundreds of thousands of rounds through these slides before they ever brought them to market. Now first thing we're going to do is make sure the gun is unloaded. I'm going to drop the magazine, check the chamber, and it's empty. Now obviously weight is the big issue here. Uh, and we have our Kratos Industries T19 slide. We have a standard Gen 3 Glock slide. One thing about the Kratos Industries is that it does only fit at this point in the Gen 3. Uh, they're working on others and more to come. The head guy over at Krytos Industries is a good buddy of mine. We have been talking about this for months. Ben Cook, uh, in fact, when I was at NRA, I actually did a meet and greet in that booth. And everybody that came by was just really going nuts over this slide. So we're going to go ahead and take it down. And um, we're going to weigh the difference between a standard slide and the Krytos Industries. Standard G19. Gen 3 slide, 12.5 ounces. Kratos Industries T19 slide, 7.2 ounces. <laughs> so you can see there is a considerable a bit of difference between the two slides. Now guys, I'm telling you the slide is incredibly lightweight, uh, but this is to OEM specs per Glock. I mean, all the dimensions are the exact same. Uh, we do have front cocking serrations. They have a nice bite to them. Uh, right here we have Kratos Industries etched into the slide and then here on the other side, we have titanium. Uh, and really, other than that, it looks exactly like a standard Glock OEM slide. Now here you can see the finish compared to the standard uh, third gen slide. And then here, compared to the Gen 5, you can see a little bit of a difference. There's a little bit of sheen here. But one of the things about the Krytos Industry slide, and it's the finish that makes the difference. Uh, this is a what they call the armor tie finish. It's extremely durable. And it's made to reduce galling completely, take galling out of the picture. Uh, one of the ways they do that is the finish that they put on here actually impregnates the metal. It's actually a diffusion. 
that hardens the titanium surface, which is going to prevent galling. Uh, it's a 70 Rockwell hardness. Uh, one thing that a lot of people feel is that titanium is brittle, but it actually flexes more than steel. There's a lot of different parts for titanium out there. You know, you can get muzzle brakes and different pins and things like that that are not impacted by excessive wear. One of the things about anodizing is that it just kind of coats the metal, and so it'll wear off quickly. And so this is one of the reasons why it, it just changes the metallurgy of the surface. But one of the reasons why titanium is such an appeal is it is 45% lighter than steel. Now, aluminum is 75% lighter than steel. So why not go with aluminum? Uh, aluminum has fatigue limits. I mean, they, it will crack, it will wear over time. In fact, a lot of frames that are made from aluminum, uh, they warn you not to just overshoot them because they do wear very quick compared to steel and compared to titanium. Now, one thing I do want to make note of is it uses your standard recoil spring and guide rod. Uh, you just slip it in the OEM and it works just fine. It's something to do with the cyclic rate of the titanium, even though it's faster. Uh, it makes up the difference in weight, so you can still go with this. Now, one thing that Kratos Industries is offering is a titanium guide rod, and so that's also going to be a lightweight option. Now, these are already plastic, and they're pretty lightweight already. And then, of course, there are other titanium parts that you can add to this to even decrease the weight even more. The only thing that I have on this particular handgun is I have one of the Wheaton Arms flat face triggers, which is, to me, the best on the market. Uh, but otherwise, everything is the same. And guys, we just placed it on here, took it out, and we shot it. Now, I want to thank Freedom Munitions for supplying the 9mm full metal jacket. Uh, we're going to be shooting quite a bit through here. You get a 5% discount using Suit00 at the Freedom Munitions website. And I also want to thank GunMagWarehouse.com. Now, I ordered these and paid for these on my own, but if I need magazines, they're really good to send them. But I got some of these Gen 5 uh, Glock mags, 19s, just because I wanted to upgrade. But uh, thought since I'm going with the titanium slide, go ahead and go with the best Glock mags. <laughs>now there was no fitting or any kind of issues by placing the slide on the pistol I mean it just fit right on now, these are made to OEM specs the recoil which I was really interested to see what would happen was uh, it was snappy I mean it was definitely if it wasn't there'd be something wrong I mean this is a super lightweight handgun but it also means that there's not as much mass coming back on your hand uh, so it's kind of a twofold effect but uh, definitely a little more than your steel slide. But for in a self-defense situation or even taking it out to the range, we put about 500 rounds through this handgun with the titanium slide. And, um, and you know, my web, the web of my hand got a little uncomfortable a couple of times, uh, but as long as I kept a steady grip on it, I didn't have a problem. Now, as far as reliability goes, um, I did not lubricate this slide. And that was really a mistake because it came in pretty dry. Uh, but I only had one malfunction. It was right up front uh, after the first magazine. It just, we had a little stove pipe. We cleared it. We had no malfunctions whatsoever. Now, as usual with Glock, ejection was a little crazy. Uh, but that has nothing to do with the slide. It has everything to do with the ejector inside the frame and, of course, with the extractor. Now, of course, we shot 500 rounds, so I just wanted to kind of look and see what kind of wear we're getting and um you know i just don't there's just not anywhere <laughs> i mean right here where the slide rails are running in the grooves looks really good and after 500 rounds we should be able to tell some things i mean right here there's no real markings i mean it's just good and clean and again you know the guys at kratos industries have put these on machines and just ran them day and night uh you know shooting thousands upon thousands of rounds and they're just holding up well. It does come in a nice, rigid, soft case. And you have your slide. And this is perfect to go ahead and place your entire pistol in here. Guys, there are plans for other pistols and other configurations. And so it's going to be pretty exciting to see what Kratos Industry does in the next year or so. And guys, to get even more details and more specifications, you can go to the Kratos Industries website. Of course, we can't put any links or anything there, but we do have Google, so check it out. Um, I think that this is an excellent, and I think we're going to see a lot of good reviews come out of this. 
over time we'll know a little bit better but from what ben has said with the testing that's going on here i think this is a real winner as far as price goes uh, one of the things about titanium again is it is expensive and you're taking a solid billet block and you're making it into this uh, the price for the standard t19 or t17 runs 549.99 uh, if you want to go with the RMR cuts, which they do uh, offer RMR cuts, it's $5.99. So that just gives you kind of an idea of the price. And guys, some of you are going to say, well, I could buy a standard Glock for that price. But if you really want to upgrade your pistol in titanium, that's a great deal. If you don't like that price, then stick with steel. <laughs> Now I want to thank Kratos Industries for sending the slide for this test and evaluation. This has been incredible. And taking your Glock 19 and bringing it down to a featherweight, uh, and yet still being able to maintain the recoil, which has not been a problem. Uh, this is an excellent choice if you want something that is super lightweight to carry, and yet have 15 rounds in the magazine. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. On my Gen 3 frame and what and went to work <laughs> or they ever bought them to market okay, let's... one of the things too that I want to note is you use your standard recoil spring those are great prices uh, mag plate stock mag warehouse stock mag warehouse is a great source for magazines uh, but this pistol Get away from me, you bird. Don't fuss at me. I'll shoot your ass.